uh, uh, the um, the physicians are due to diagnose um, his hypertension. Uh, like uh, for example, like a uh, home blood pressure measurement or um, ambulatory uh, blood pressure monitor as any kind of that. And uh, what is the highest uh, systolic uh, blood pressure uh, that he have um, ever uh, been told to? Uh, what is the highest uh, diastolic uh, blood pressure uh, that he have? And uh, what is, um, and, and when, after he was diagnosed with uh, hypertension, uh, does he have any, um, like, a target organ damage? Um, hmm. What's target organ damage? What, which uh, which visual, organ got damage? Uh, visual, uh, uh, decrease in uh, visual... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, decrease uh, the visual uh, the visual change um, about um, the uh, for example like <laughs> a left ventricular uh, hypertrophy or the um, decrease in uh, renal functions um, and uh, what and you should ask about his um, treatment. Uh, whether he received the lifestyle modification, uh, did he do it right? Uh, did he do it right? And uh, the the medication that uh, he have already uh, used, uh, or have already be, uh, been indicated, um, and and ask uh, about his routine of uh, like uh, you and uh, drink using medication uh, and uh, we should ask more about the diet that uh, he, uh, he that he eat every day drink every day uh, because uh, I think that uh, many doctors will advise him to have the low salt diet or it's uh, with the dash diet but however uh, we should ask about um, whether he get it right and whether he practice it right. Um, okay. So okay. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. So yeah, it's five minutes already. So okay, how you think about your performance? It go by pretty fast, huh? So how you think? I, I think that. Uh, my performance is is not really not really good. Uh, I think that I'm not follow and <laughs> and not had the really um, okay um, the structure to for the, the other people to um, follow easily, and that that is that somehow might lead me to miss something uh, to ask the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think um, you are absolutely right. Uh, you're the first one to come up here. So yeah, um, and we try this format for the first time. So don't feel worried. Um, you give good example for other people not to fall into the same <laughs> mistake. Um, again, you have everything at home already. Um, so when you plan to give the instruction, whether to your friends, to your junior student, or to the patients, try to make it to the structure. Okay, you may not need to tell everything, but get into the structure so that they kind of have an idea where to, where to, how to follow you. Yeah, you did do some structure actually. You start about asking some questions, but then you jump from go to uh, an organ damage, which I don't know how well you're going to ask during that uh, physical um, questions, uh, because the newly found high blood pressure patient not always have uh, an organ damage yet. But uh, yeah, 
um, yeah, certain thing is a bit more important, certain thing with less important, um, but have a structure. Uh, you ask about the medication, lifestyle, as about uh, how to take yeah. medication, as about diet. So you have some structure, but uh, yeah, maybe have a better way so that in the future, your junior student may ask you, and then you now just pull it out of your head and, okay, boom, 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 here and here and here. Okay? Yeah, yeah. because the role of doctor is the role of instructor also. Okay, any last feedback before we move on to the next one? Um, do you want my team to like give some more like idea about this case? <laughs> Uh, we just move on first. When we have time, we will come back. So don't worry. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. So now just give me a number from one to four. Oops, why is he running? Um, <laughs> what, should, should we call other team to come up to see whether yeah, they can do team. better? Yeah. We can yes. do better. Same case. They do better or just are we go a different case? Uh, okay. We can do the same case. Uh, what I'm planning uh, to do is the same case. Uh, mm, for the same team, set. Yeah. yeah, for a different okay. team. All right. So we just might call team B. Uh, might be Naman. Naman from team B. Because same case. Right. Can you do better? Can you see do better than team A? Come on. Naman, come on. And team, and team, the, team C, get ready. Team C, get ready. And the rest of the, of the team, pay attention, write down your note, okay? Don't just listen to the feedback over here and write down. You need to write down your own feedback because it's you, it's just for you. It's not for us, it's for you, okay? All right, so. Hello, uh, hello uh, Dr. Man, hello, Dr. Fu, yes. <laughs> Hi, uh, um, okay. yes. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, let's just make it easy by starting the same setting. Again, I'm the, I'm the junior student. I'm gonna have some, uh, I have the patients, make it a little bit different. My, my patient right now is a 60 years old lady and she's newly found high blood pressure when she feel tired and she come to seek help, she never see any other doctor before in her life. She never take any medication before. Okay. So uh, again, I'm the junior student. Uh, so brother Naman, I have, uh, um, the nurse told me that we have the, the new patient in the coming to the emergency. She feel tired. Seem like her blood pressure is high. We, she seems like she's been never see any doctor before. So we have no history about her. And she says she's not taking the medications, but her blood pressure is high. The attending only gave me five minutes to go to see the patient. So can you give me any tips in five minutes so that I can go and see the patient and get the most important thing about her blood pressure? Okay. Yes. Um, so um, I think uh, you should um, focus on uh, something like um, uh, the, what, what is uh, the blood pressure me measurement uh, this time because uh, she never met any doctor before. Uh, so um, you should ask more about um, his um, tiredness. Uh, that means uh, does she has any time uh, uh, like this? And um, other thing you could ask is about uh, his, uh, uh, because he sees uh, 60 years old, you should, should ask about the um, hit period. That means, uh, are is she's, um, menopause or, um, or still have the periods? And, uh, <laughs> okay. And then, uh, about the, uh, blood pressure, uh, you should, um, check for some other things, other systemic organs like uh the 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 eyes uh the eyes and um does he have some head edge or does uh, he have uh the pain on uh, her chest to uh 
so we can know about the um, complication or any uh, effect of the hypertension on her organs. And uh, so you could ask some little more about the um, uh, lifestyle. That means um, if, if she's um, overweight or, or obesity and or that she has uh, some other condition like uh, diabetes, mellitus, uh, so she can have the risk of the cardiovascular disease. And um, I think that is um, some important things um, mm -hmm. to, ask, to ask her in five minutes. Okay, okay. So I guess that I need to ask about the tiniest, about the period, 60 years old. Hmm. She, I don't know, any 60 years old still have period, but I'll ask her. Um, uh, ask if have headache, chest pain, any change in her vision. Um, yeah, she... She said that she's not seeing any doctor, not taking any medication prescribed by doctor, but uh, any medicine over the counter may cause problem, you know, that I need to um, ask her. Okay, uh, if um, uh, you can ask for um, maybe uh, some uh, pain, uh, pain relief that she take when she uh, feel um, painful or she feel tired. Um, maybe some uh, some because she's uh, don't don't uh, measure the blood pressure, so I I don't think she use any um, uh, high uh, hypertension or any high, high blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, so we have one more minute. Um, the lifestyle you're talking about, exactly what I should ask about her lifestyle, whether uh, she... Okay, about the lifestyle, you can uh, ask uh, if she uh, like to uh, eat uh, salty or she like to eat um, fatty food, like uh, fast food or drink any uh, Coke. And uh, sometimes she... Uh, uh, you don't uh, do uh, regularly physical activities that will make her um, uh, passive and uh, maybe get uh, gain weight. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, five minutes over. So, uh, yeah, how you think about your presentation, Naman? Uh, I think um, it's a... Um, still um, miss um, maybe many uh, important uh, thing and many information. Uh, and uh, if um, I have time, I will write uh, in the stru structural ways to ask uh, clearly and uh, don't uh, skip um, the uh, information. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the difference between this case compared to the previous case that uh, that your friends asked earlier? Not an, uh, asked earlier. Uh, the, do you realize what's the difference between this case and the other case? The previous case is about a forty uh, years old man, and uh, mm -hmm. he, um, he's uh, drinking a lot and uh, suffer from the stressful work. And my case is about a 60 years old female, and um, she has some uh, she has some uh, change to have uh, the, the communications of uh, the um, menopause on uh, women, and. Uh, my case, uh, the patients uh, haven't hasn't checked for her um, for her um, high blood pressure before. Yes, so we uh, are very difficult to um, know about uh, her past medical problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we get to the class to get feedback, any feedback from Anfu about the 
menopausal issues on um, period um, history on the 60 years old patient and who? Um, John, John, John. John. I think probably he, he think I'm, I'm here is that why he tried to impress me. I think I'm, I, I probably disagree with men. I still see some women who are 60 still, mm -hmm. you know, not in the menopause. Mm -hmm. But majority of women menopause are about 52 years of age. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the question is relevant to, well, more important into taking history or not. I probably I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it in their priority. I might ask, you know, later social history, you know, how long to be menopause, blah, 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 that thing. But I wouldn't include it too early. Okay, uh, I think this one make class people interesting. I can I run this way. I call the team C group, come up and do exactly the same case as your case and see how they different. Okay, if they have been mm -hmm. listening or they have been mm -hmm. reading my, my typing. Okay, <laughs> Naman, you can go back. I can call the team C. Uh, team C, Toyen, come up now. Do the same, exactly the same case. Five minutes. You've been listening. You've been, you know, been writing down, and now five minutes yes. come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after this, we have one round of um, own over. Um, the class going to give feedback for the own the three uh, case that's presented. So, Jane, come up here first. And who and go be the junior student for Jane Hong Fu. Maybe you just no, scare no. her a little bit. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I just do it this guy. You just do exactly yes, in the case what mm -hmm. your naman has done, and you put mm -hmm. in more structure and see what you have listened to. You know, hey, what he done, what mistake he made, and what you know advantage he had taken. And my typing on you know chat and quickly go through in five minutes. Okay, go. Okay. Same case. Yeah, same case. So, yeah. Um. Uh, about, um, about his, uh, her family, family history of um, any underlying uh, condition like um, diabetes, um, myocardial uh, infarction, um, stroke. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Jing, um, yes, again, you don't pick up from where Naman left, left off. You present the same case. I'm asking your help to uh, show me which questions um, I should ask, how I should work up this case of high blood pressure. So, Sister Ting, I had a patient, 60 years old, coming here, um, feeling tired. We find out that she had high blood pressure. She never see any doctor before. She's not taking any medication prescribed by doctor. So what question should I ask her to find out more about her high blood pressure situations? We only have five minutes. Can you tell me what exactly the most important thing to do to, to get the most impo important information from these patients? Yeah, uh, I will ask um, her, her job um, um, to uh, determine uh, if I see I have uh, a lot sedentary um, lifestyle um, as her um, they say um, do, do exercise very late um, and um, uh, uh, as if her, her um, have uh, have been uh, have just um her uh, life uh, the fine before. Uh, so about, so about ask her what I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Can you say that again? I will ask um does the um check have she check um her life the fine before. She um, mean lipid profile cholesterol. Lipid, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah, she said that she never see a doctor for a long while, so I don't think that uh, that she know about that. But uh, anything else is uh, I should ask her for 
for this condition is new. So I guess that's, I don't, she doesn't know a lot about her medical conditions, yeah. but any question about her lifestyle, any question about her medication, with medication over the counter that I should be worried for? Uh, so I will ask her about um, her um, diet. Does she um, eat uh, too much uh, fat on like it? Okay. Is smoking is smoking important on high blood pressure patient? Smoking, yeah. drinking is important. Uh, ask about um, smoking and uh, mm. drinking alcohol. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, how many uh, cigarettes uh, she uh, smoked today? And uh, mm -hmm. um, because smoking is a uh, one uh, important uh, factor of uh, hypertension. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, one last thing. Uh, we always ask about family history. Any particular thing about family has history, I think you think that uh, may be helpful on this case? Um, about uh, her family history, I will uh, ask um, there's any Anyone in her family um, had uh, high blood pressure or diabetes um, or cardiovascular disease like uh, stroke or uh, GIA? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, time's up. All right. So, um, yeah, just like uh, the previous two presenter, how you think about your performance today? I know it's the new setting, you're the first group come up here, so you may not feel ready yet, but uh, yeah, how you think about your performance? I think my presenter is very good because I feel uh, a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you confused about this time so that your friend won't make this mistake? If you're going to do it differently, what would you do? Um, I think in next time, I will uh, prepare carefully uh, because um, when Dr. Mm -hmm. Kim called me, I will uh, discuss with uh, my friend uh, about, about uh, another... Um, uh, um, okay, uh, let me step in. I think because we change the format of teaching today different. I want the class concentrate and listen to your peer when they present in case. And you can be called at any time to re replace him or her, and you, when you listen to other people, you have to take notes and prepare. You're going to be called the next one, so that's probably a bit to throw you off the chair a bit. So I think we leave you there. Our next team, I want to call the next person would do exactly the same case, and the exactly same case like number one you have done, and we're not going to repeat the case again because you have written the case down when you're listening. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if I can and take a bit control this one. I call mm -hmm. someone more senior, full down, <laughs> please come up and do the same way, show your, you know, your, your junior how to do the case. So everyone will be called at any time during this case and repeat any other case, not just the case being set. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm doing, can you go back and next we'll call you soon. Okay, <laughs> go, go back and full down, come up, uh, full. <laughs> okay, so. Um, same case, Naman has done exactly the case. You, you will present your own way. <laughs> okay, so we have a 60 female, nearly diagnosed with habitation. So um, she have not been to any clinic before. So the first thing when we approach this patient is we should determine if she really have habitation. So we need to check uh, again, his her blood pressure by a decent method, and then 
um, erase all the things that can make we have pseudo hypertension like white coat syndrome. And when we we determine that she have hypertension, we should look for any secondary causes of her, like if she has some disorders with uh, her uh, endocrinology, or maybe she's having some renal failure. So it uh, will present with some um, symptoms like anemia, um, edema, or um, change in uh, her amount of urine. And then when we determine that she has been having primary hypertension, we will look for any risk factors, any signs of um, organ target damage, uh, and other signs that she may not um, have a full, um, I mean, when we treat her, she will follow it um, in a right way. So the first one, we will determine some uh, risk factors that she may not um, have uh, good um, to when we treat her, like uh, can she follow the, um, the drug treatment? Uh, can she uh, remember how to, how to take the medication? And um, is there any other difficulties uh, to her? And because she haven't been to any clinics before this, maybe she is having hypertension for a long time and she didn't know. And maybe uh, she will have some uh, target organ damage, like uh, maybe she's having hypertrophy of her left ventricular. So we will look for any uh, symptom like um, uh, breathlessness or fatigue or edema or decrease in her ability to move or to work. And um, uh, we should check her uh, vision if there is any vision change. And um, I think that is um, some main points we should keep in mind to approach this patient. Okay, cool. Mm. It sounds very um, a more systematic approach. Um, I think it's good. Um, I think it, the other, you know, the one in class should have, you know, listened to the case uh, for last two presenter, and uh, it's it's still not, you know, a little bit not covering full, you know, the picture we wanted. But I think that's a way, the good approach. I very, I like it. And I, you know, next, uh, I'll probably you hear more experience because he's you know, been working, so he know uh, how to you know handle the patient better than student. But the lesson for student know that when your friend do the case, you got to listen and you got to write down, and you know you know that you learn from other people's mistakes, and you learn the case how you do it, and you can do your own case at the moment when you're sitting down, you to prepare yourself, you know. I'm going to be called next, what I'm going to do. Okay, good, good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And there's something I want to say, because uh, all the students, they are like newly to um, to internal medicine, so they don't have the, the needed experience to, to approach their case. So they are lost in a lot of questions with uh, the patients with hypertension. So I think they, uh, and they are facing a lot of difficult to nearly uh, new cases like this. So uh, I think um, they need time to to get uh, high acquainted to those. Yeah, that's like, that's what we uh, want them to listen and do the learning on the spot now. Okay, okay, Tom. Now, if you just same same case again, I call one person to see what they, they have to learn from. You know, whatever you have done, you listen to you because you're the senior, that is junior. Have they listened to you yet? Next one, Tim, Tim B. I want to call Ngân. Okay, so quickly five minutes, go quick. I do the same. Your chief senior had help you. Yeah. So let me give some tip before you start, or the rest of the class before you start. Pay attention, Doctor Fu Trong. Just, uh, just uh, show you, uh, confirm the diagnosis, 
check for any um, symptoms. Symptoms, right? We still ask the the, the, the history. So check for the the sign, the and the symptom of the end organ damage. Check for the symptom of secondary cause. Check for the risk factor. Check for the lifestyle, and yeah, see a patient can follow the treatment and family history, surgical history. <laughs> those related to the to to the high blood pressure. Okay, you don't yeah because we do the focus case case here. You don't need to ask every little detail whether they have the pimple, have, like um, how many children they give birth to at this time, thing like that. So yeah, but follow the structure. Follow the structure. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Same case. The same cases. Yeah, the 60 years old female presents with tiredness. She found out that the nurse tells us that, okay, she has very high blood pressure. You as a senior uh, student, you're going to advise me, the junior student, how to get a good history and what to do uh, exam for the patient. Five minutes, start. So first I will uh, check, I will uh, uh, no, not I. No, no, not, not I. You ask me to do, you show me to do, so you say, first you should do this, do this, do this. Yeah, okay. Uh, so first you have to confirm uh, the patient uh, have hypertension by uh, uh, checking their uh, blood pressure. Um, and then uh, you will uh, um, ask, uh, ask her about uh, her risk factors about uh, um, alcohol intake, um, smoking, diabetes, um, about her um, sodium um, diet. Um, and then I, uh, um, does she smoke? And, and then I, uh, you should uh, ask her about her um, medication, uh, like, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory um, medication, uh, or oral contraceptives, um, and then uh, you will uh, um, ask, um, ask her about her family history. Mm. Um, then you will uh, um, um, and uh, if uh, you uh, suspect she have a white coat effect, uh, you should uh, ask her uh, to use uh, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring at home uh, and come back again. That's all. Okay. Um, seem like you. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then you will uh, um, ask about uh, uh, if she has any complication on her heart, um, her um, visual, um, and uh, her uh, kidney. Okay, you still have. Two minutes left. You want to use up? Or you think that that's all you can tell us? Uh, about a visual, uh, sh you sh uh, you should ask her about uh, visual change, uh, heart. You ask about uh, heart, uh, chest pain, um, in uh, um, palp palpitation or um, heart heartbeat uh, fast. Uh, about kidney, you ask about um, change in uh, urine, uh, about color uh, and frequency. Uh, and uh, very important that you should ask about uh, why, uh, what is the most uh, she feel discomfortable. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, your time's up. Um, for any feedback right now for 
Ah, uh, sinan lagi. Uh, yang. Yang. Okay. okay. Uh, I think I'm not sure what the class had listened to your peers <laughs> when they presented, and have you taken any notes down? And what have you listened to the feedback we have provided to the one previously? Uh, you need to take this very seriously because that's the way, you know, we expect the person after the last person should be better than the one before because you have listened to other people has presented and has been criticized, have been praised. So you learn from this on the spot here. This is the way have you learned. They're not just starting from the beginning, everything new again. I want something You know, like you look at, you know, full top head presenter, he presented a way more systematic. Now we, we suddenly, the next person I see, they lost that momentum. And you got to learn that to see that one, you pick up, oh, he's very good. I will need to learn the way he do it. I write it down now. If I've been caught up, I will do, you know, better than him. That's the way how we get the class engaged in, in this, you know, teaching. Uh, so this new format, uh, we probably... Yeah, it may be forgiving, but again, I have typed, I'm not sure you have read on, you know, on a group chat, yeah? the six, uh, the one, you know, I've typed quite a few things, but, you know, when you newly diagnosis of hypertension, you have to ask this symptom, systematic approach. Find it approaching systematically and you're not going wrong, but you're not moving around like any organ damage and moving a firmware. Just simple, it's very simple. It's a very simple case. It's not hard case at all. Like pull down said, this is difficult and not difficult. It's a simple question, daily question you ask all the time. Just ask if the patient let newly diagnosed. And first of all, I want to confirm the patient, you know. I want you to confirm, make sure it's not pseudo hypertension like pull down said. I want you to check the blood pressure again in quiet setting, make sure the blood pressure reading it correctly in different your know, cup, different side of cup. If confirmed it's really hard reading and I this a list of question, I want you to ask the patient the Relate to the hypertension alone, say, why should have the patient to come present with lethargy, patient with headache, visual chain, you know, urine output, and, you know, all the you know, heart, you know, heart, any you know, chest pain, or, you know, there. And these are questions relate to the hypertension, you know. And the next question, I will ask more questions about medical surgical history. For a long time, but she had a medical history. You know, what is he have heart disease, have the diabetes, the core, you know, core mobility, mobility with, you know, high blood pressure. Usually they go together, hypertension. Lipid profiles. I want to check whether they had any blood tests or kidney function test before, full blood count, you know, your ABC blood before. Then I will ask any surgical history and any, any operation before it quickly. And I want to ask any medication, including over the counter or herbal medicine, what she's been taken. A lot of time patients give you the list of medication you could deduct yourself what the medica medical problems your patient has. Then I will ask, you know, whether, you know, what, um, what, you know, what, you know, any other treatment and I'll, I'll, you know, we go on with management. So this simple list of questions, just exactly the template, like taking medical history, presenting symptoms, taking history, this is one, we want you to specific into specific into one K in one diagnosis, it's easy for you. And targeting that medical history, I'm sorry, asking for social history, whether it's smoke, he drink, alcohol, I see, you know, and and then family history very important. If you had in family history hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or uh, you know, blah blah blah, it's, it gives you a lot of information. So these things you got to, if you when you become competent, you can spell out in within two three minutes, no longer because when you work in practice, you can't get more than this. If you put all things in systematically like this, you will go go wrong. I hope the class will take notes about this because we had difficulty to get you to into, you know, the rolling thing at the system. I can't get the system moving. I feel frustrated because all my medical students are taught, I get them to the system. When the system, you know, the machine will order it and they're moving along very quickly. So remember, this is system, system, system. You go in and you use that like, template, just like, you know, that you're feeling the blank spot. You're thinking your brain already, you feel it's blank spot and you go, you know, and you move on. 
So I think I leave uh, mình đi set up the next case and we take it randomly. I emphasize the class, please take notes, learn from people presenting case. You gain the knowledge, you gain the way how to present, again, you know, how the way they pronounce. They've learned the way how you get most benefit out of the class uh, for, for, for today. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tina. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you can yeah, go back to your seat and uh, we will call another one. So, um, again, the, um, Dr. Fu really, really big on the format and not just, just Dr. Fu, um, everybody practice medicines should be uh, that way. If you jump around, it's very difficult for others to follow you. We will come back to this one, um, but let's move on to the next one. We start a bit late today, so let's move on to the next one, and we will have a break around um, 9.30, okay? So let's see, um, group, go back to group A again, uh, Nguyen or Nguyen, after Ngoc An, it's Nguyen. <laughs> okay, it's good. So, um, yeah, it's just just change change the mood a little bit, um, and let's see. Let's we do a different case so that um, we can have some. Uh, okay, this one should be easier. So, um, mean, right? um, so um, let's, uh, I'm, I'm the patient again. So, Dr. Nguyen, um, um, so you diagnosed me of high blood pressure. You started me on the, um, the, the medicines called Amlodipin. Um, I've been taking it so far. Seems like my blood pressure can getting better. Thanks a lot for, for that, Dr. Nguyen. Um, but I just wonder uh, any way in the diet, any food I can eat, anything I can do to help improve my blood pressure. Uh, I, I don't want to take the medicine forever. So uh, what I know that I'm a little bit fat. Uh, I try to quit smoking. Uh, but anything else I can do, uh, Dr. Nguyen? Uh, the first thing I would, I want to know that your blood pressure in a uh, recent day is, it was how much your blood pressure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is better. Um, the nurse told me that my blood pressure is good. It's like 120 over 70 right now with the medication. So I'm taking the medication, but I just wonder anything else I can, I can do. 100 and 120 over 70. Okay. So, um, the, I think that your, your condition is get better, right? And um, your, your hypertension is uh, a low, lower level than I thought. So, it is possible that you can change your, your lifestyle, you can change your habit and diet to, uh, to degree your blood pressure and we will um, and um, and will not take medicine anymore. Um, some some tip I think I will give you to um, to to change your, your lifestyle. Um, maybe about smoking alcohol is the best that you can avoid. But if not, you can um, limit it. Limit them as much as possible. But um, a cup of, um, of rest wine every night is good for your, your, your blood pressure and your, your heart. It's not to, um, to be avoid, avoided. And the next is um, smoking. Yes, the, the best is, is um, uh, uh, avoid uh, completely. Um, about the diet, um, what is your diet? Is, is, is there anything um, special, special 
Um, I don't have time to cook that much, so I'm not really, um, most of the time I just stop by McDonald's and grab something from there to eat. Uh, so is this good, doctor? Seems like a lot of people eat it from McDonald's, and they seem look they look good. McDonald, I, I really like that, but it seems not um, in an uh, appropriate diet because this food um, contains a lot of sex and, um, and um, trans fat. That's not good for your health and maybe lead to an, um, an um, higher cholesterol in your blood and uh, the blood in your vessel. So I recommend you to, to limit. This, this kind of food and um, try to consume more uh, natural, more, more natural uh, food, uh, more natural ingredient like vegetable, fruit, um, or, or, or rice, maybe, yes. And um, that's it about diet. It is hard for you to, um, to, to change um, I think you said vegetable, you said vegetable, fruit, rice. You, you want me to be a vegetarian, doctor? It's not easy. Oh no, you can eat. You can continue to eat fish and meat, but um, increase the, the amount of vegetable. It's not like a, a, um, a, a so so boring diet of a vegetarian. I, I thought that, mm. and um. That's it about um, the, the diet and um, habit about lifestyle. Yes, it's good for your health to increase time to for physical exercise. Um, it depends on your 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 health to choose the suitable level of exertion. Um, with um, the 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 lowest intent like uh, walking or hiking, the moderates like um, bed, playing badminton or swimming. And um, maybe if your house is good enough, you can choose to play football or um, a, a dream. It's good. If you, um, outside of uh, have a healthy body, have a healthy uh, heart, and um, your blood pressure is um, a... Um, Regulate uh, well. You can have a body sh a shape. You have a, you keep your body um, in fit. Mm -hmm. You said I can drink one glass of red wine a day, but how many minutes or how many hours I need to do exercise, doctor? Um, in American, I don't like that. one hour is how much millimeter, but uh, in Vietnam, in, in Vietnam. A cup of uh, of wine is enough. Uh, maybe uh, from uh, ten to twenty millimeters is enough a day. Ten to twenty. Mm -hmm. millimeter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but how much? How many? How many minutes of exercise I need to do a day? Um. Uh, in textbook. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I recommend uh, the, the normal rest of time you need to uh, to to exercise is twenty minutes a day and at least five days per week is the, the best choice to to do at at, at the very beginning. And uh, by time you can increase or decrease the time depending on your 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 feeling and your your decision your, your time is not um, a strictly compliant, compliant. Okay, so 20 minutes a day, five days a week. I'm very busy. Can I do the one weekend, two hours straight, and the rest of the week I don't need to do it? Don't, don't have to do it? Is that okay, doctor? No, the key point of this uh, kind of physical examination is that you have to keep it, you have to keep it remain day after day, year after year, and that's good for you. Good, very um, good for you, uh, and uh, beyond that, you um, you do and and rest for a long time, and after that, you do. I I don't like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Good. <laughs>
Good. Okay. So go play soccer with uh, Anh Phú, huh? <laughs> um, okay. I think this um, uh, lighter question, I guess, and um, yeah, it's easier to form into structures. Uh, you talk about diet. You talk about uh, avoid uh, um, yeah substance that may affect the blood pressure and exercise. So um, yeah, of course it's not complete yet, but um, it's, a, it's a, some structure that's easier to follow. So uh, and for any feedback before we call another one to see how. I think it's good. Um, I, I have tie. You look at you. I need to look at my you know my chat and pronunciation still. Quite feel you mispronounce uh, the word. Uh, so you, it's better for you to go back to listen to the case here and look at my group chat, so you can go back to learn this. This you know sometimes under pressure, you start showing your pronunciation is uh, incorrectly. So it's not. It's not. It's not uncommon, but you need to learn from this one. But it's pretty good. It's very spicy. But um, I probably don't really say I don't like it. I say uh, I would prefer you. Okay, I would prefer you. And also, please, please look at my my chat. All about the you know smoking and cycling and you know when exercising, you have to ask them half an hour a day at least. It have to be every day, not just only once. You know, every two weeks or hire someone else to do exercise for you. And drinking alcohol moderately, you know, like you say, a red wine, one glass of red wine a night, it's probably okay. Not you talk about twenty mil, it probably look like little talk and not 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 nothing with <laughs> red wine. I wouldn't like twenty mil of uh, uh, red wine anyway, but uh, um, I think twenty mil it just you know just sip up, you know, it's not enough for a lot of Vietnamese. But good, you done well, you you're confident and a case because it's easy. Okay. So we have mm -hmm. taken time. We might call one more from the group and see who can be better and him. And uh, you were in group uh, A, so we call group B a G. We do we do exactly the same case. I um, hope we don't have to repeat again the case. And you have taken the notes that the case down. Now fight. Go on. Okay. Oh, exactly Fine. the case. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. In in this case, I will give some advice to the patient. I thought about weight reduction. Uh, I want to ask about your weight and your height to estimate your body mass index. Um, mm -hmm. Because I, the patient maintains his BMI from uh, 18.5 to a twenty four point nine. Yes. Uh because the weight reduction and maintain normal body weight is very useful for controlling lot of pressure. Yes. And the uh, next I will avoid vacation uh suit uh it's in a, a suitable di dietary. Uh the patient should consume a diet in rich uh with uh, fruit, vegetable, and, uh, uh, we should limit the uh, food with brick, uh, salt, uh, fat, yes, and about dietary sodium reduction, we should avoid the patient maintain the amount of sodium he intake every day. It's just about 2.4 gram sodium or uh, six grams of sodium chloride uh, is going uh, to lead about one teaspoon of salt. Yes. And, and about physical activities, I would advise the patient to exercise every day if, if he can. And uh, it's about 30 minutes per day uh, and about uh, five days per week. Yes. Mm -hmm. And about um, uh, alcohol drinking, I should uh, avoid the patient drink uh, um, a less a amount of uh, alcohol he can. Um, if the patient want to uh, drink, want to drink alcohol, I will avoid him 
and so can up beer every day. And, uh, and, uh, I, I will invite him. He can bring two beer per day, uh, 70 millimeter of whiskey per day. Yes. And, um, our lifestyle is avoid stressful, is avoid something make him become tension. That's the only thing I will advise the patient to uh, control his blood pressure without medication. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, just some quick comments first. I know you, you may not uh, notice, but uh, but you just say after a, 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 a sentence, you may say yes, and it's the, it may distract the, the people. <laughs> you try to review, try to review your yeah in the video clip and try to, to uh, refrain from saying that. Um, yeah, it's it's a habit that uh, try not to. Um, BMI 18 to 24.9, uh, just a bit into uh, technical detail a little bit. Um, some just had some suggestion for Asian 23 or more consider uh, overweight. So uh, we may need to, to adjust that a little bit. Um, yeah, and some pronunciations, uh, sodium chloride. Um, it's not chloric. I think it says chloric. I uh, sodium chloride um, is uh, NaCl sodium chloride. Uh, and yeah, you have some structure, but uh, yeah, maybe um, for particularly for high blood pressure, maybe you should focus on the diet first, um, especially salt, so that they yeah, if they forget anything, then yeah, at least salt is uh, the thing that they should remember. Uh, and two beers a day, you think it's okay on two beers a day? <laughs> I think for, for <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yeah, somewhere I, I read that uh, for guys, for male, two beers is kind of two drink. It's uh, still okay for female, I think one drink, uh, yeah, so just look up that uh, suggestion. Uh, could I ask uh, G uh, a question? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, very good that you um, describe in detail about diet, about alcohol, the number. But just about the salt, what is a practical thing here? Because you say that I just try limit six gram of salt per day. So. <laughs> The patient have no idea how much you take. You have to transfer it to into something that is easy for them to follow. So how how do you do that? Yes. In um, I will advise the patient if he uh, if he eat meal he cook meal at home. I will advise him just. One teaspoon of sand to the food per day. Yes, mm, I think if I advise, uh, he can follow correctly. And you know the um, the taste. Yeah, everybody different. And the same dish, so people say, "Oh, it's very salty," and they don't want it's not. Okay, so. <laughs> I, I know it's very hard because even here in Canada in the US, usually that you buy the something, you can see the ingredients right, on the table. So it's a sort of how many, yeah. But in Vietnam, uh, you have a good idea that just give that to be food of salt or something that okay. But try try to figure out how the most easiest for the patient to follow your uh, the sodium diet. Uh, sorry, it's a lot of noisy, so I can't listen to your question exactly because you repeat okay. again. Okay, now I, 
I told you, like in Canada, or maybe in Austria, or in the US, when you buy something in a grocery store, especially with a product, they always tell you how many sold in one package or something like that. Right? But like in Vietnam, you see that you, you uh, cook the fresh, the raw meat, the fresh food, so you don't have no, you have no idea how much salt in there. So that's why I, I just asking you that in a long way when you become a doctor, how you tell, how you teach the patient to reduce the sodium, to reduce the salt in the diet. So you have a good cue to say that, oh, one teaspoon for one meal, huh? but that's what is a, is a good idea. I, that's why I, I would like to ask you. Okay, thank you. That's all right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Jay, I think, I think uh, most of students have been difficulty with pronunciation salt. Mm -hmm. You have to learn. I, see, I think it's just something I say, like you say salt. You must salt with the tea at the end. You need to practice that one. Not you. You're not the only one. I think most of the class mm -hmm. having trouble and diet, fat, and alcohol, reading. Sometimes when you become nervous, you start, you know, mispronounce, you go back to do, listen to pronunciation. I think from practicality for whole class with uh, salt intake, what we do here, the patient, you tell them to take one or two teaspoons of salt, they probably wouldn't remember, or five grams or six grams, they don't. We do have the leaflet. We have to print out. We give the patient leaflet either in graphic or in, in, in writing. The so patient will you know, follow your instruction easier, what they eat, what they exercise, usually will do it. I think probably you're getting good habit now. You can do it your own and give the patient, they will be very impressed with your practice. Uh, secondly, uh, with, you know, with salt, uh, hard to say, but you can tell them, please, just cut down. You think it, it, your food is at the moment it's salty, can you cut it down a bit more? And you see the food less you're salty, and you feel that, you know, eat less salt. Just some to practicality, you don't do the measurement. They, some of people in the, in the country, they don't know how to me do measurement. They say, if you cut down, usually, normally you eat salty, can you cut down a bit and you feel you're less salty and you cut down a little bit more, a little bit more until your taste will tell you what you know, what you're salty or not. That's another practical point. You can tell them how to you know, cut down the salty. But it's a good, yeah, a good, I think we need a time up to I call the team C. Okay, you can go back now, G. Team C, I can call Tao, come up to do the quick one and we'll before we go for have a break. G, go back yeah. to G. How? Where are you? Okay. Yeah, there's some noise somewhere. I don't know. Uh, the background noise. Come up, sub Hi. Okay, so yeah, the instruction still the same, uh, and the patients coming over to get your advice about how what to do regarding lifestyle and diet so that I can lower my blood pressure. Hopefully, don't have to take medication anymore. I'm a little bit overweight. I um, smoke cigarette, uh, and I'm trying to quit. Yeah, so what's your advice you would give me, a patient with, diet, uh, with high blood pressure? Uh, 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 it means your hypertension is uh, normal. Yeah, with the medication, my blood pressure is normal right now. Uh, my doctor um, is happy. So, okay. Uh, I, give, I give you some advice to train your lifestyle. And uh, about because you are, you are oversight, you are overweight. So you must notice your wife. And uh, the second, uh, you are mocker, so you just quit, quit in mocking. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I, uh, I think uh, in your life you have some uh, stress, so you must you mock, you must uh, mocking, so uh, 
you must to regain your life and you, you must find some faster factor make you feel grateful in your life. And mm. yeah. Um, uh, hello, Tao. Hello, Tao. Please look at right on the camera. Okay. Yeah, okay. I could I I couldn't see your face. Uh, uh, about your diet, uh, I I want I want uh, I want to know is that what favorite food you like? I like to eat burger from McDonald. Uh, uh, and uh, why when you lie because your life is very busy and you must take it or you, mm -hmm. you just like it yeah I don't have much time I just grab a burger and a coke and then I can eat on my way to work uh, okay and uh, I want to know how old are you I'm 40 years old and uh, about your um uh, About your financial? Um, yeah, I think I'm. I, I have good. In, I think I have enough money. I just don't have time. Um, uh, it means you have a lot of money and you don't have time. So I, I must advise you. Uh, maybe you can uh, quit your job and you can uh, find find another job make you feel comfortable in your life because you risk. You not a, a poor person, so people so you must find a uh, complex mm -hmm. life. <laughs> that you can oh. get healthy because you're forty years old, and you must to uh, uh, you must to know exactly important in your life now. You're healthy, not your money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will think. I try to think about that, but I need money right now. I have a big house to pay off, and I have um, kid to send to college, and my wife is very demanding, so I cannot quit my job right now. Um, anything I can do beside that, doctor? Um. Uh. uh. Uh, I know that in uh, in your country in US in US so have a lot of uh, sauce, a lot of uh, restaurant uh, have a diet have a healthy diet to help you and you can go go it and you can share it yeah. <laughs> because I'm not a nutrition so I should know that I have a lot of diet for you like D A S X X for hypertension. Mm. Yeah. I should uh I should knew you advise you go some restaurant healthy diet. Mm -hmm. okay. So you have a lot of money so you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a lot a lot of thing money can buy, doctor. A lot of thing money cannot buy. <laughs> um yeah, about the, the, the DASH diet, can you bring out some instruction for me later, doctor? I, I'm not familiar with that, so uh, I don't want to get the wrong information. Is that okay? Yeah, um, um, in our DASH diet, uh, you must eat a lot of uh, fruits with um, uh, each table, uh, like uh, one... Um, one day, one meal, you can eat one apple, one meal. And yes, it's not easy to can eat when you work. And um, about uh, fat, you must know it. And, you, uh, and um, about the oil, uh, you must know uh, Vegetable oil, just uh, maybe a uh, three three teaspoon one meal for one meal. Three teaspoon for one meal. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Um. Um. I uh, uh. When you you can use milk, you can win milk. Just a uh, low fat milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, I'll try to follow that. It's not easy. I like to eat a lot of meat, but uh, I'll try. I'll try, doctor. Uh, uh, you like meat, so you must uh, you must reduce red meat, red meat, and you uh, enjoy the white meat like fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, more white fish, white, white meat, fish, and chicken. Chicken's okay, right, Doctor? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we are going to take a break, but uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, I never advise my patient to quit job or divorce the demanding wife or <laughs> not sending the kid to school. So, um, yeah, um, so be careful what you advise. Maybe the wife will come after you and why you ask my husband to quit job. And <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah, but then also uh, structure your <laughs> your advice. Um, some Sometimes certain diet is... The, the, the DASH diet may be a little bit complicated. Um, you may have some handout for the patient. So um, you just point out some key point, more vegetable, let red meat, uh, less salt, those, those things. And then, yeah, you can provide the handout and, uh, yeah, and point to the main things, the salt, the exercise, the, the weight loss, um, yeah, just just something that patient can can bring home with something, um, yeah, easy, uh, visual for for the patient to to remember and to follow, yeah, and uh, step by step. <laughs> okay. Okay, I would like to tell you something too. Huh? It's just about, about your um, communication. Okay, yeah. your recommend your advice to the. Uh, to uh, the patient Mindo, okay? It's a little bit funny, but when real in real life, you have to take it seriously. You can't, you can't do that to the patient. You have to persuade the patient to follow what uh, in the guideline. Rather than, oh, if you don't like it, just quit. Never, never the physician do that, okay? So just for funny, that's fine. But this one is not funny thing, okay? So take serious about that. Never give an advice against the guideline, okay? okay. Uh, before, before we go break, I'd like to give the class a summary of what I would say if you have been asked by Dr. Ming Do, the case. First of all, I just summarize this is a patient who had been diagnosed with treating with a hypertension, which is well controlled. Now, the patient asked about your lifestyle dietary change. So what I would like to give the patient in some of the very clear form of this point, and they've been all done by all the research, have been shown that it has been helping decreasing blood pressure, and also some patients have been taking off the medication completely. So first of all, I ask the patient, I know the patient is overweight, so I want to bring the BMI level down to the satisfactory level by number three, from, uh, from dietary change, exercise, and, and blah, blah. I go into detail with, you know, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, with the uh, dietary. I like to advise the patient to take less salt intake, get, you know, eat less salt, less eating, you know, processed meal, it lets your know, vegetable. I'll give them an instruction in writing a leaflet about what they can eat to improve their dietary change. And secondly, uh, we ask them, you know, to, to do exercise. We have been known that increasing level exercise half an hour a day every day will decrease in blood pressure and also decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease. And finally, uh, we ask that this lifestyle changing with in terms of smoking, alcohol. We know that smoking can cause hardening of blood vessel, can lead to the good cardiovascular disease, hypertension. We ask the patient to quit, quit the smoking or cut down smoking. Our alcohol intake should be limited in you know, one red glass of wine per day, or if they drink, it should be in very moderate amounts. 
So do you think you have to advise the patient in terms of gentle and reinfo reinforce it, tell them again, again, I would like to, at the end, I would like to remind you this point, we should agree with it, and we're working on it, it will help you to do it with your occupation. I know that it's a very stressful job, but if you try to get some spare time to help to relax, you join the, your meditation classes or, you know, Tai Chi classes, we help you with it. We know that yeah, everyone facing their, their high their stress occupation, we can't avoid it. You have to help the family, but we can't. We have to try the way to minimize the stress level. No quit job, nothing, no, no, no bossy, no bossy the patient. Working today with the patient at the same level, they will listen to you, okay? So this is a very simple, it's a very simple game. Simple game, you guys have to know that we got three patients that got three people gone through. Simple four points there. I posted there. Follow that and do it easy. Okay, admin, okay. have a break. Yeah, so let's take a break. Uh, so uh, go stretch, and we will be back. And uh, we will want to hear your feedback before we continue. So we try to change and huh? to make you feel better, to make uh, the study more efficient. Okay, so take a break. Come back in around three to five minutes and we have a feedback section before we continue. Okay, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so the, the first part of the, the class, I forget to uh, resume the recording, so it's a, a, the first part is missing, but uh, okay. I think we got most of the case. Yeah, and uh, uh, maybe the, um, they use uh, the new microphone, so it's mm -hmm. it's easier to yeah, it's it's much better than before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sound. Okay, Naman, you have any questions, or you just want to check the computer? Uh, I just want to read uh, again. Oh. The <laughs> okay. Oh, so you guys cannot read on your desk. Huh? Only those who come up here can read the the text. Okay. I have oh. to go. To, uh, do we have the big screen for them to look at? Or? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yes, so Naman, Naman. Yes. Yes. So you can. Your your class could not read my my group chat, is it? Uh, I think they show on we, the laptop. Huh? That's correct. It's not a big we screen. Can, yeah, we can read the um, the note uh, on the group chat. From from the big table. Uh, no, just from the uh, little screen. All right, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder. <laughs> okay. uh, no, no one follow your instructions so now that no one can read it. Okay. okay, so I think probably next time maybe get the biggest screen so people can follow. We typing along, we help you. Guiding yes. you, running. yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That. I thought you guys have been reading my my my, my typing there. Yes. Uh, so um, how how's about the uh, audio and the microphone quality for today? Because we use uh, the different device, uh, not uh, the built-in microphone on the laptop. So how how is the quality of the microphone? Um, if it's uh, is better or has any problem? Much much better. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I think why why don't you ask the uh, the technician to put a big t the TV screen, you know, on maybe one side so you can mirror in up your laptop into that TV screen. So people can watch, you know, what we do the group chat on whole, you know, whole screen, like whole, like our expression, like especially, you know, instructor, when you guys say something, we can say, oh, you can read it. So we need the big screen so everyone can watch it. Yes. Uh, yes, we have, like, uh, we connect the laptop to a big screen, like, uh, 98, wow. yes. Like that. Oh, right. Okay, good. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But you have to put the, the, the chat part on the big screen too. You see the, yeah. the icon at the bottom of the screen? You see the chat icon? You click yeah. on that and you show. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Naman 
understood your your idea because he he didn't in front of the laptop to copy the chat to save that for further learning. Not because we cannot see the chat on the screen. Okay. So all of us can see it, but a little more we can see it. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's some way so that the whoever sit on the table can yeah see the the message also. Uh, okay. So um, let's see if we can finish a little bit earlier today. Right now. Yeah. Today we start a little bit late because we have some uh, discussion about uh, the next. Um, the next class by by uh, Anfo. So uh, yeah, I just want to check the background knowledge of the student before the the next sections. So we start at eight thirty uh, today uh, actually. Um, and let's see, if we can finish around ten thirty. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, because uh, three hours or more every <laughs> every every section is a little bit. I, I think when too much. I think that uh, we just carry out one or two people more is okay because mm -hmm. that topic a little bit uh, uh, might simplify uh, mm -hmm. because they do the uh, presentation, they do the assignment, so okay. they they get some information. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I I have a question because um the the the, the, the case we have passed that um a female sixty years mm -hmm. old uh resented with tires and uh, hyper hyper hypertension mm -hmm. so um <laughs> you think that um we are a senior and we have to give a tip to our juniors first but mm -hmm. i am we are in a, a clinical situation so before we um, we ask um, a, li a lot of questions to um, to detect her, her disease. We have to 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 rule out um, a severe con a severe condition like uh, embolism or myocardial infarction because mm -hmm. she is not um, a medical professional. So when she tell us she tired, it it might be not a right word. It might be a, a chest pain or something. Mm -hmm. So before we ask, I think, uh, in, in my opinion, in my personal thinking, I, I think we think we, we, before we ask, we we asking her some question. We have to measure electrocardiogram and um, sample her blood for um, troponin testing. Mm -hmm. And in the time we waiting for the results, um, we has asked him, the onset and characteristic of her tiredness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do yeah. you think about that? Yeah, I think uh, maybe I did not make it clear enough. Actually, it's not in the emergency case, um, in not in emergency situations. It's more about uh, office visit. So uh, the symptom is non critical. Mm -hmm. She's not having like emergency high blood pressure at all. Okay. Um, yeah, and a lot of times people just come to your uh, office feeling a bit tired. Um, you happen to find high blood pressure. You don't always do blood tests, not always do EKGs. Or, it's, it's not the, the emergency setting. Yeah, I forget to mention that. So, yeah, uh, it's just a very, we make a very simple, very simple case of high blood pressure to try to, uh, the, the, the goal is, having the chance for you to um, have the discussion about how to get the good history of people who have high blood pressure. Yeah, it's not emergency, it's not emergency case. Okay, uh, in, in our class today, these are four purpose of studying. Uh, we try that to ask you how to educate people about high blood pressure. So it's not a diagnosis um, case, okay? So all the information there is not enough because if we want to ask you to do the diagnosis, we have to give you more information and then you say that, oh, 
my the first analysis is A, and then my second one is B, A, C, and D. Okay. Today, uh, we don't concentrate on how to diagnose the case, but we concentrate on how you educate it, how you educate the patient. So that's that's the reason why we make it simple. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in real life, not okay. Because when one patient show up, you have to look around and you have to rule out one by one to see that what is the most important. But today we go directly to the hyper uh, hypertension. There's a hyper pressure. That's the reason why. Okay. Uh, so I have an, another question. So mm -hmm. in a final test, in a final test of of this course, we uh, we have to um, to do it yourself to to face with a, a real a real patient. So um, maybe I have to to uh, to to perform as an academic situation or a clinical situation. That's quite different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the again, this class is for uh, commu communication, uh, communicational English, mm, clinical communication uh, English. So, um, as a doctor, you not just talk to the patient, you not just talk to your colleague, you not just present the case to the consultant, um, you do everything, <laughs> you do everything. So, we will, uh, we will um, present the setting, sometimes you will try to get the history from the patient directly, Sometimes you need to present the case to the consultant. Uh, Sometimes you give uh, patient education like just now. So, and and maybe sometimes you answer the phone, patient calling, has some question you have to answer. Um, yeah, it's uh, we try to mimic the part of the the um, the CS case, the clinical skill cases. Uh, which require various skill that you may need, but we in, we we not really focus on the uh, the medical knowledge. We're not here to teach <laughs> medical knowledge. We're here to yeah help you uh, with the communication. Of course, we cannot communicate wrong information, wrong medical <laughs> knowledge, but uh, it's not the goal. It's not the goal of our our class. Okay, I, I got your, your point because I, I just uh, consider about this idea because some uh, some last some last lesson some last um, uh, lesson I uh, was talked about different sort of diagnosis. So mm -hmm. that's my, uh, <laughs> this is only a part, okay? Because mm -hmm. every section of this class we will concentrate in two one main point, okay? Because the next time, like next for Dr. Fu, you we may concentrate more in emergency, but today it's not emergency, okay? And when you have the final examination, everybody have assigned one own uh, a timer, okay? We don't, we don't go to, to the same time. Everybody have the different time and uh, you are presented with a, some situation and how you deal with that, okay? So we call the next question, next group. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, so let's see. Yeah, but first we, yeah, just have them uh, for a few minutes do the feedback first of how they've been doing so far and what they can do. Let's see, group one, uh, Oh, whoever. Hey, yeah. how, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just um, some feedback. Anything you learn from your friends presenting earlier or anything that you can point out that uh, we can do different so that you can engage more. Anything that you think, you, just a few, like two, three sentences. Uh, I think she's a uh, 
uh, talk on uh, the on many things to educate the patient, like uh, change the lifestyle and uh, learn change lifestyle and uh, doing exercise, uh, limit uh, uh, reduce stress in uh, your job and um, uh, change the diet. Uh, reduce the fatty food and uh, eat more fresh food or uh, vegetable. Okay. Uh, okay, so you follow. That's good. Anything in the format we do today that you like or you don't like? Anything. Yeah, the way we do it today, a little bit different from before. Anything you like, anything you don't like, the way we do today. Democracy. Uh, could you explain more? I still don't mm -hmm. understand. <laughs> okay. But let me rephrase. Um, I have, you know, sometimes I, I took initiative to change the format of teaching today by doing different way from what we have done for the last few weeks in terms of you want the class to engage in, you know, conversation and learning. Do you think that's, you know, not too easy or maybe something else we could do better? I think uh, we uh, can uh, do uh, practice in group and um, one will present and uh, on the other member we will give uh, feedback for that case and uh, then uh, maybe you can uh, randomly uh, pick up uh, uh, one person to uh, paraphrase uh, to summarize uh, the case and uh, the answer. So. Okay, uh, Min and Nan Phu, I think that it's uh, very difficult for <laughs> Vietnamese students to think about that because, you know, they don't, have, they don't get used to something like that, okay? So I think that I, I would like to, to ask okay. you in Vietnamese because you get, get it, because it looks like that you don't get it, okay? Cách làm như thế này nè, mới như thế này nè, thì em thấy là hay hay là không hay? Hay tại sao? Và yeah, không hay tại sao? Okay, you can you can answer in English or you can answer in Vietnamese. Okay, this is là phê bình á. Mấy em phê bình á là cái cách này như thế nào? Cái ý hay là cái cách học như thế này. <cười> tại, vì, tại vì bên Việt Nam á là không bao giờ không không biết bây giờ như thế nào. Ít khi nào mà thầy thầy cô hỏi là cái cách học như thế nào hết á thầy dạy có dở không <cười> hay hay dở à, cái cách này hay hay dở em có ý kiến như thế nào à, em thấy là đưa ra cái tình huống rồi kêu ngẫu nhiên thì sẽ giúp cho mọi người tập trung hơn nhưng mà nó tại vì không có quay hết được không có thấy được mọi người đang làm gì á cho nên nó nhiều khi lúc mà chỉ gọi ngẫu nhiên thì à, còn những người còn lại không bị gọi thì có thể bị à, sao lãng hay là gây buồn ngủ cho nên em nghĩ là nếu mà được thì à, mỗi người nên có một cái camera riêng á, rồi mình sẽ nhìn thẳng rồi lúc đó sẽ à, được là ai đang tập trung hay là ai không tập trung luôn chứ nó quay nguyên cái hội trường thì cũng không có biết được không thấy rồi. hết mà thấy hết không có người thấy hết thấy cái người nào mà nói chuyện người nào mà làm em thấy hết à <cười> yeah. chưa nhắc thôi <cười> yeah. Nhưng mà nhưng mà cũng có post trong cái group á. Nếu mà nhóm của mình mà có được cái conference uh, microphone với là speaker luôn á để trên bàn giống như mấy cái dạng mà hội nghị đó uh, thì nó không bị không bị tiếng echo, không bị tiếng vọng lại nhưng mà mấy mấy bạn có thể ngồi trên bàn rồi hỏi trả lời trực tiếp luôn không phải đi tới đi lui đó thì cái cách đó là nó 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 tiện nhất. Thì có một cái có thể là có hai cái tivi, hai camera nếu mà muốn ngồi hai bên như vậy 
rồi uh, có cái cái, cái uh, conference speaker để nghe tàn tàn đó thì uh, gọi thẳng người nào yeah. đó trả lời luôn đó, thì thì vậy thì lẽ hơn uh, nhưng mà uh, cái đó đầu tư chắc chừng thấy giá bên Việt Nam đâu khoảng chừng ba uh, bốn triệu một cái thì không biết bên trường đầu tư một cái thì không hai cái <cười> rồi Việt Nam nó giàu thế bà nó nó giàu ba bốn triệu đó thì ba ăn bữa ăn sáng rồi đó <cười> mình thấy là bữa nay là cái cái cua của mình là phân nửa rồi mà tới yeah. nay mới là cái, cái phần âm thanh là tương đối chỉnh là như yeah. vậy ở trường Cần Thơ cũng chưa có phải là là kêu bằng 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 chú tâm để mà làm cho cái lớp này tốt đó là cái cho yeah. đó đến nỗi mà chính mới ngày hôm qua hôm kia là tôi phải nói tôi phải nói là cái này là một cái <cười> microphone à, thì đâu đó thì uh, bác sĩ uh, cú trọng mới là đậu mà hết, hết nửa nửa đoạn đường đi rồi <cười> thật chúng ta cứ nghe mấy em khi mà chúng tôi nghe mấy em nói chúng ta phải dương hai cái lỗ tai ra nghe nghe không nổi tiếng việt là không nổi tiếng anh còn nghe còn không nổi nữa mà mấy em nói sai nhiều khi cô không biết nói sai chỗ nào Ok, okay. bác sĩ Phú Trọng okay. phải, phải coi chúc mừng Phú Trọng, Trọng cắt nửa thùng bia rồi Nên đã đủ tiền mua cái ba công tân mới Ok, ta mình vô chương trình đi ha Yeah, ok, so yeah, let's continue We have a few more people present And then we can uh, call it a day And uh, move to the feedback sections So, um, yeah, this time it's also a, a common case in the, in in daily practice um, some a lot of patients not really follow the treatment they not really care or they don't have the good way to, to follow the treatment so no matter uh, what you do what medication you give the patients uh, for blood pressure her blood pressure is still, the blood pressure is still high so um, this for you to um, tell the patients the complications of untreated or poorly controlled high blood pressure, what you uh, should do to, to make the patient aware of um, the, the complication, the severity of untreated uh, blood pressure. So uh, uh, again, I'm the patient. So uh, Dr. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Dr. Chuk. Um, yeah, I don't know, doctor. I'll try, but um, my blood pressure is too high. Sometimes I forget to take the medication. Sometimes uh, the food is so good that um, I not follow your instruction about diet. Um, the blood pressure is too high, but uh, I know my blood pressure is high, but is that okay, doctor? Anything I should be worried if my blood pressure is high like that? My family, many people have high blood pressure and they still live happily. Uh, should I worry? Uh, I think uh, you should worry about your condition because uh, if you don't follow the treatment, it may cause many uh, complications to your heart. And uh, by the time if you uh, don't uh, use uh, the, uh, blood pressure medication uh, regularly, uh, it may affect uh, the, uh, your heart uh, may uh, be a uh, uh, failure. And it uh, doesn't work. Uh, uh, like uh, it doesn't work uh, effectively, and uh, it may cause your body uh, um, lack of uh, oxygen and, uh, and affect to your job. And uh, moreover, uh, your high blood pressure can affect to your brain. It uh, may cause uh, you stroke and uh, may uh, the better the works uh, may uh, you may die because of stroke and um, another uh, complication is uh, it can affect your uh, kidney maybe uh, kidney failure 
and this will cost uh, too much money for the treatment. So uh, I, uh, I recommend you follow the treatment strictly. Okay, um, you should uh, uh, go to the uh, clinic to check your blood pressure uh, at least uh, six, every six months. And um, you should take the medication every day as uh, in the prescription. Um, uh, for the, uh, in your shop, if you get too many stress, you should uh, take uh, one day in your week to uh, for entertainment to release uh, your stress and um, about your diet. You should uh, uh, limit your salt in your meal and, um, uh, and also limit the fatty food or uh, fast food or uh, any red meat. Yes, and eat more fresh, fresh fruit or vegetable and uh, keep uh, on uh, doing exercise regularly for at least uh, 30 minutes per day and uh, for five days per week. Yeah. Okay, but I heard um, medication have a lot of side effects. I'm afraid of taking medications. Uh, is it okay, doctor? I'm just afraid to take medications. Uh, uh, this uh, the medication is uh, uh, is prescribed uh, is uh, very appropriate for your condition, and uh, it's also take um, it might take a uh, side effect. But uh, if you uh, notice any uh, side effect, you could uh, go back to the clinic. And uh, I sh can uh, check and uh, maybe uh, change it uh, immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, what side effect I should work, um, look out for, doctor? I just, um, what uh, side effect are you talking about? Uh, side effect include uh, it, uh, swelling, maybe swelling uh, in your foot and, uh, uh, and the uh, Numbness, numbness in your hand or your foot, and uh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, all right. So um, this this question mainly about um, complications of untreated high blood pressure or poorly controlled high blood pressure. Uh, I think I mentioned in the assignments that you should prepare to really give a good detail, or not maybe not very detailed, but of at least three minute explanations about the complications. You make it too short and uh, not really in, yeah, not not structure enough. Uh, yeah, maybe it should pull out the effect the heart, affect the liver, or the heart, the brain, affect the kidney, mm, three main, and the vision, yeah, three, four main uh, organs, um, so that the patient is easier to follow. And then you may also, yeah, you may also uh, tell the patient that, yeah, this may not just affect your vision, you may go blind, you may have go through like uh, dialysis like three days a week, four or five, from three, four hours a day. Make it really visual so the patient can see and they can, yeah, they can compare that whether text of the medication follow the treatment is a better option than let it go and then have the, the complication down the line. So yeah, try to make it into something really concrete, something really uh, easy for the patient to follow and uh, just very simple but straightforward points, okay? Okay, so I don't know the rest of the class, you can do better than than took or not. Let's call another one then. I think we uh, 
So the next one would be more experienced. I think Dr. Vang. <laughs> okay, Dr. Vang. Dr. Vang there. Um, Let's show the example how to tell patients. Hi, you make it. <laughs> Turn on the microphone. Turn on microphone. Yes. Okay. Can yeah, that's good. So again, this is the patient who um, have poorly controlled blood pressures, likely uh, non-compliance with the diet and the medications. Uh, try to convince the patient or try to uh, let tell the patient about the complication of untreated medication, uh, untreated high blood pressure. Um, yeah, please. Mm. Mm. The complication has uh, the heart, the brain, and uh, the kidney. So uh, the patient. Uh, don't want to uh, treat uh, medication. Uh, we uh, we should um, explain uh, the cause. Uh, the cause lead to uh, the complication of hypertension, and uh, uh, we should ask uh, the question about uh, the patient uh, don't want to uh, to use uh, the medication. Uh, as um, they don't have money to use drugs. Or uh, they don't, uh, they don't apply uh, the compli the complication of plus, um, um, and um, uh, we should um, we should have uh, to uh, change uh, price price uh, to uh, to mm -hmm. to um, to treat uh, hypertension. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do this. Hello, hello. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, let's go again. Okay, you you not go directly to the topic that uh, Dr. Mindo asked her. Mm -hmm. Now, suppose you with the patient, how you explain, how you educate the patient about the complications if they don't follow your 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 draft subscription they don't follow your uh, your medication okay you mm -hmm. tell about that okay don't tell about lifestyle you know, okay just the complication which that you tell the patient what kind of com complication that they will have if they don't follow the medication mm -hmm. okay yeah. yes um if you don't uh, if you don't treat hypertension uh, you can um you can uh, you can show problem about the heart, such as asthma and um, um, uh, and um, heart disease such as uh, um, heart failure uh, and um, uh, and. Uh, uh, coronary artery disease, and uh, if you don't use, um, if you don't treat uh, hypertension, you can damage two arteries, just a uh, aneurysm and uh, narrow arteries, and um, about uh, the brain, you can uh, stroke, such as uh, um, uh, I and uh, sometimes you uh, you can have a uh, magnesium impact and uh, about uh, young kidneys you can uh, you can have uh, kidney value and uh, kidney scarring and uh, young eyes you can uh, never damage mm -hmm. okay um yeah, but uh, is that medication for blood pressure have a lot of side effect, doctor? Um, um, medication to treat uh, hypertension is um, 
Yes, you read this. Peter locked us. I see in high bay, in high beater, and you test to receive the blockers and uh, calcium candle blockers and alpha blockers, make no air and uh, central angelis and vascular dilators. Okay, doctor, I'm a lay person. Um, I don't understand what you say about the blocker and blocker. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anything I have to worry about the blood pressure when I take the blood pressure, doctor? Uh, I heard that blood pressure medication um, cause in impotence. Is that right, doctor? Mm -hmm. um, yes, if you use uh, ICE inhibitors, you can uh, have cough uh, and. Uh, you use calcium channel blockers, uh, you can have um, uh, and a hot bun, and sometimes you use uh, um, swelling of the ankles, and uh, you use uh, the urethics. Uh, you, uh, you can have high ball hypertension and uh, Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess you're just uh, rushing back, so you not follow the format we do uh, so far, and uh, you're not. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of noise in the background. I don't know why. Um, yeah, and then uh, you're not prepared for the answer, and also um, this is the 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 counseling for the patient. So uh, I don't think the patient understand all the blocker and inhibitors and <laughs> all the things that you are trying to tell the patients. Uh, maybe just focus on the, the common side effect of, um, of high blood pressure in general and uh, like dizziness, uh, so the common things, risk of falling, yeah, those, those common things first. And then the, um, it depends on what medicine you give the patient. We give the patient we counseling uh, separately for for a particular um, side effect of the medications. Um, any feedback from the <laughs> from your side and uh, and full and then. I am not sure in. Communication mm -hmm. with patient and also, you know, counseling probably is still a relative, you know, less important in Vietnam because of time constraint to see patient. Mm -hmm. uh, so probably just a simple thing, just put in your case, if you are the patient, what will you expect from the doctor that buys you? Put that way easy, you know, like I'm a non-compliant I don't take medication either because I don't have money or I'm just so busy with life. I can't take medication. It's a normal thing. You know? I mean, so what the job you do, you have to persuade the patient to take in terms of simple terms and summarize and easy to understand and, you know, and, and the patient will follow you. That's the whole, whole principle of communication and counseling. No jargon term, not too difficult, and have to symptomatic because the patient has limitation of remember what you're saying. So somehow you have to go back to look about how could I advise my patient, you know, first of all, you, uh, what I need, I think I probably class listen to this one. Next person will come up. I expect you to do better. What I would like to do first of all, I will ask a patient why they not follow the instruction. Whether they did difficult at work, or difficult to follow instruction, or they don't have a financial problem, I need to find out first. And maybe we we'll tell you okay because they need to be at work. Then first of all, I would like to mention the patient. It's very important to follow instruction to treatment hypertension. If we don't do it, 
the hypertension leads to multiple complication with from branching all sort of system from the heart, the brain. You get a stroke, you get a heart, you know, you get a heart attack. You get, you know, all your heart, your blood vessel will be hardening. And later, we will have difficult to treat. So give the patient overall picture of what happened if they don't follow instruction. Then from and from then on depends on because patient not sure about medication and we targeting a medication. Why they don't take medication? Because of side effect, because the medication or something they don't understand how medication works. Then you go straight into that because medication have a lot of side effect. But we minimize side effect by we do this. I explain to patient that's a known side effect. You learn with it, you live with it, you get on through with it. If they have financial problem, they will have to get you know support or get some other way to help in lifestyle changing, weight loss, and your diet will change all things. We don't just let them know because you don't have medication. That's it. We can't help you. You can't. We can't drop the patient at that stage. Or the patient have a poor you know education level. They don't understand exactly what problem though. I will write down exactly what your problem is, what communication, and how we go. It give you some sort of the link on the internet. A lot of e-health come down now. There's a lot of things they can post in Vietnamese now. If they can understand, can help them with that way. So systematically, you think, you visualize the patient in front of you, what you can do, the multiple problems that lead them to non-comply. Non-comply is a major issue with Vietnamese patients. Not from Vietnam, but in here, they non comply and terrible. They take away the medication, make that they feel better, that's it, they don't take it. So, the job is in long term, your family medicine in Vietnam, like Dr. Val, you do it at the most general practice. Your job is frontier. You have to revolutionize the way how to treat the patient. You, the first one, after this class, you will get some knowledge. Say, okay, I have to know if. Knowledge, knowledge in Vietnam now, the way the patient, you know, we have to change the way perception of disease, how the patient follow the doctor instruction is important. So I have to be systematic and we think I can take two minutes, three, I can do it, I can have to spend half an hour with the patient to educate the patient. It's very hard. So you've got to go back to do this one, you know, it's medicine systematic. You sit still, I can't get the sit up in, 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 in your you know, thinking at the moment. Okay, so just we, we will practice, we get there. Counseling is not easy. It's not easy at all. Okay, especially when you speak in Vietnamese, it's not that easy. So I understand. We're not going to criticize anyone, but we want to get the improved down the way how you do it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we got a lot of time now. But, um, I'll call the next one. Who in the team C hasn't been, you know, uh, maybe, uh, oh no, don't, okay, don't come up. You have to do better. You know, I have, <laughs> have spoken this. You got to think of, but everyone have take notes now. They're not ignoring, just sitting there. And we'll be call, I will call, repeat call other people to come up to do, to see what you can get something out, you know, our conversation today. Okay, I, I would like to uh, tell Tung that you have to talk like you talk to the patient not to us, okay? in a very simple and not technical terms of how to explain to the patient. Number two, that uh, about some of people here pronounce, uh, you pronounce heart, not hurt. A lot of people say hurt, uh, it's not correct one, okay? Try to remember again, heart, team heart, not hurt. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just try to make it easier. Sometimes you uh, don't. We don't do a lot of counseling in in Vietnam, so um, just pictures. It's not any patients. Maybe uh, some someone closer to you. Maybe your parents, your uncle. Uh, if they are not taking the medication, if your if their blood pressure is high. Uh, what would you do? What would you tell them, right? So, yeah, let's see. I'm um, your uncle. Um, not taking the medication as you suggest me to do, as my doctor suggests me to do. My blood pressure is high. So you know about that. Uh, what would you tell your uncle? What, mm, what would you tell me? So don't uh, my doctor tell me that um, my blood pressure is too high, but I don't feel anything. Mm, 
I don't think medication is necessary, uh, right? Is that right? I don't need to take medication, right? So, uh, excuse me, Dr. Munn, so could you fix your question? <laughs> okay, pay attention. <laughs> yeah, so. So I'll cut the Dr. Munn a bit. Class, mm -hmm. please write down the question now because you will be asked. You know, we, we will not repeat the question. We we'll call you up to the podium and you go straight into the answer, please. We, we're wasting so much time repeating the question again. Take the notes down now. What question of the being asked? The next person will, will not repeat the question. Okay. So again, uh, okay. So again, uh, the, the, the case is um, your um, your family member, um, your uncle. I would just uh, do a prescribe medicine for blood pressure, but. I'm not taking it because I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling healthy. So, yeah, so I just happened to meet you in the family reunion. And I just, yeah, I said, uh, yeah, don't. Uh, uh, my doctor prescribed me medicine for blood pressure, but I'm feeling fine. So I don't need to take medication. Is that right? My blood pressure a bit high. 160 over 90, but uh, that's fine, right? So, um, oh, I, don't, I don't think uh, your blood pressure is, uh, is, is normal uh, because it's, uh, it's higher than uh, normal. So what's wrong? What's wrong if I'm not taking blood pressure? Oh, uh, if, you, if you still don't, don't taking medication, so I think, uh, I think this this is still increase than uh, this, and, and uh, you maybe get um, uh, uh, get a lot of damage in his, um, in your body. So like what? Like what? What damage? Uh, damage in um, your uh, 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 in uh, some organs in your body, especially your brain. So um, maybe okay. you. Can get struck and uh, will die immediately. Immediately? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm feel fine. Anything else? Anything else can could be the problems? I'm still not dying right now. I'm not worried. What else could be? What else could it be? So, uh, beside the brand, maybe, uh, maybe you, uh, maybe the problem will. Uh, affect the um, the heart. Um, it's the uh, cause enlargement of the heart, and uh, uh, and uh, you 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 get a uh, a pain in your chest. Um, so also the kidney also damage. Um, um, you uh, may maybe is. Um, it causes uh, the kidney failure. So, um, our yeah, kidney yeah. and lots of hearts. I have big heart, so I don't care. Um, and kidney failure. What? What? What's wrong with that? Any problem with kidney failure? Um, mm, my father, your grandpa, he have high blood pressures. He's not treated. He's doing okay. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with uh, kidney failure? Uh, uh, the kidney failure is 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 a, is a, a serious uh, condition. So maybe uh, it's not my. Um, if if you had a kidney failure, so um, you yeah, this this means uh, your your kidney function is is not good. So, but um, may, maybe maybe um, you you lost uh, uh, 
use is uh, okay. Tap 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 tap. Okay, so seems like you're not prepared for this answer. Uh, it should be yeah. It should be very straightforward and very structuralized. You have your brain, you have your heart, you have the kidney. At least three of these organs you you should mention. And um, yeah, and make it very clear, very easy to for the patient to visualize. You can mention about stroke, and you can see have the pictures of the stroke. I guess that. Uh, more or less people, everybody knows someone has stroke. They have like paralyzed, they have bed bound, they totally de depends on order to move around. So give them, give the patient the pictures like that so that they know the, the complications, what may happen if they not take the, the medication, if they don't have the, the condition control. So yeah, so the stroke, you may be paralyzed, you may stay in your bed, you may just eat in your bed, pee in your bed, you cannot move. What's wrong with the heart? The heart could be really bad that you can barely walk and have, cannot breathe. Um, very difficult for you to move around. Uh, you may have heart attack that you die. Uh, you have to stay in the hospital for a long time. Kidney failure, you may need to go on dialysis three days a week you have to go to to clean your blood you cannot do anything else you feel tired yeah let make it very visual make it very easy to understand for the patients you said you can mention like half failure wow well, half failure if people don't have half failure they don't know you may mention kidney failure people don't have kidney failure or they may have kidney failure but they still don't know so make it very easy for the patient to see so that you can convince them. Okay. Just like someone try to, try to convince you, they make it very easy, very scary maybe, so that you can you understand what what is the problem. Okay, I mean, uh, we got 20 minutes before the time's up, so I think we, um, we call the next person to come up to exactly the same question, Tim B. Who is Tim B? Uh, I think oh, Gang, come up no. again. Remember, we will not repeat the question. Uh, if my patient said that uh, he still well and he refused to uh, treatment, and uh, then I will. Uh, said about the um, complication. Uh, first, it will uh, affect to your brain and uh, you will have a stroke. Um, you have to uh, um, be in hospital for a long time uh, to treat it. Um, and if it uh, affect to uh, your heart, uh, you will have to uh, um, um, you um, you will have to uh, go to the hospital and you uh, cannot um, breathe. And uh, if attack to your kidney, you have to um, go to the hospital to uh, clean your blood. Um, and uh, you, um, you don't, um, you don't, uh, you can't eat the food what you want because you have to, um, um, you have to cut down the um, potassium. Um, and uh, uh, it affects to your uh, visual. You can uh, 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 you can uh, look like the you can uh, see anything like the uh, normal uh, normal one. Yes. I think we need a bit more polishing in a way a talk. Uh, it's still not covering fully. Um, I leave, I call the next person, come up, right, quick now. G, Tim B, come on, give me better, more version. Oh, she's back. Yes. 
Everyone can write out the, the, your answer now because you can be called. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Um, if the patients uh, say that he don't need to take the medication, I will give him some advice about the complications of hypertension. Um, uh, it, um, hypertension can suddenly damage your uh, many your organs, such a brain, heart, artery, kidney, uh, kidney, eyes. Yes, about uh, brain, um, hypertension can uh, um, can cause uh, transient ischemic attacks or stroke or dementia. About kidney. Hypertension can damage kidney, can cow kidney failure, uh, kidney arteries, aneurysm. About heart, um, hypertension can cause heart failure, uh, in large left ventricle, uh, or coronary artery disease. About arteries, damage can uh, hypertension can damage a narrow artery or max artery become some aneurysm about eyes. Um, hypertension can cause uh, eye blood vessel damage or retinopathy or fluid build up under retina uh, or we, uh, uh, hypertension can cause uh, no damage of the neuropathies. Yes, that is some complications I will consider to the patient when he, he um, say that he not need medication to treat hypertension. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, it's complete, but then it's uh, just like you read from the list and I'm not sure how much your patients can understand uh, what you say um, at the, the, the layman level. So you may need to convert like the retina, the TIA, those things. You have to, to uh, use certain terms that uh, the patient can understand. Okay, yes. and also, um, again, tell them the severity in visual picture, uh, the complications they may have so that they understand it's easier. TIA, what TIA? Oh, who care about TIA? But you have the stroke, you paralyze, it's, it's more visual to the patient, for example. Yes, thank you so much for it. Okay, Are we call the next one, Ngọc An. I think team team one thing is you up here yet? I think mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, team one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go on first. Yeah, go on first. Mm -hmm. No jargon term. Okay. I, I, um, um, so you, uh, you said to me that you don't want to. Um, to use uh, a, yeah. no. no medication. No medication. No medication. Right. <laughs> um, I know that uh, people uh, certainly have uh, have to take medication for like um, nearly the rest of your life is really uh, uncomfortable. Uh, however, uh, you know what? Um, uh, hypertension is a really silent killer. Um, as if um, some, somehow you cannot feel what it makes change to your body. However, it's, um, it's really damage your inside organs and can lead you to, uh, to death. Um, um, okay, so at first, uh, the, hyper uh, the hypertension, the high blood pressure can affect to your heart. Um, like uh, it can make your heart enlarged. You may think that some, somehow, oh, my heart uh, is bigger, it can somehow pump a lot of blood and uh, it's okay to me, but 
um, when uh, your blood pressure is high, um, your heart need to put more force to put out the blood uh, to supply to your own body. Uh, and, and just like you go to the gym <laughs> and uh, you exercise to in, uh, increase your muscle, your heart is just like that. It will increase uh, the size of the left muscle. And <laughs> but for a long, really long period, uh, somehow it's, it cannot uh, it, it cannot stay in that process and it can lead to the uh, heart failure um, and you don't want to like um, at your age you can do a more physical exercise however you cannot because because you feel too tired to, um, because your heart too tired to supply blood to your body um, hypertension can also affect to your um, brain uh, because um, uh, is hypertension uh, in uh, okay? It's, it's also come with another um, risk factor uh, like obesity, like um, uh, you can uh, a heavy smoker, you uh, drink alcohol, and it can build up plaque in your blood vessel, um, and uh, it's it. Uh, in, in medical, we call it the uh, atherosclerosis process and make your um, blood vessel wall um, is uh, stiff and it's, it's not uh, flexible. So uh, as your blood pressure uh, suddenly get high, it's uh, out of control, uh, somehow um, it will uh, break and um, it leads to uh, brain hemorrhage, which, uh, which is really like lead to, to death suddenly. <laughs> and, and, and people, and as you age, you don't want to like, um, <laughs> to like get in the really uh, serious, um, I mean, serious situation like that. You don't, you don't know, want to like, uh, not knowing what uh, led me to my death because uh, it happened too quick. Um, therefore, uh, as a doctor, um, I give you a visual um, um, visual view about uh, how hypertension can affect your health. Uh, therefore, we. Uh, make a plan to treat you with medication to uh, slow down that process and um, it can help you to have a better life along uh, you can live longer uh, just uh, a little comfortable to drink drug every day but uh, however uh, your blood pressure under control and it will uh, save your life okay <laughs> Okay, seems like you start out good, uh, but then you mm, go too much into details. You give the, a bit confusing about the comparison between going to the gyms. Um, people may think that, okay, I exercise my heart, I make my heart stronger, just like go to the gym, so let the blood pressure run high. I exercise my heart. So <laughs> don't use that picture, it's very confusing. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and you go too much into detail about uh, the black and the stroke and blood pressure don't, don't cause people to make people smoke cigarettes and become uh, diabetes. So, uh, don't, yeah, try, try not to give too much information and sometimes incorrect information. You may just set the blood pressure, like put a high pressure on, on your, your vessel, just like you pump too much air into the, the tire and it may burst and it may have a stroke and things like that. Yeah, make it easier visual <laughs> and don't talk about black and atherosclerosis, then oh, people, you may, they may lose you right there. <laughs> and uh, then you forget to talk about the kidney uh, complication. Yes, <laughs> I've just realized that I forgot to talk about that. I've just written okay. it. Okay, but that's good, good, good. More convincing, more convincing, more, you know. Okay, we will run out of time. So we call next one team. Okay. 
Next thing. Okay. Uh, you do that. He might. Oh. He might. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, okay. we forget you for the whole day. But then, yeah, let's end it on the high note. Let's do good this this case. Okay. Try to convince me to take medications. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what complications I may have if I'm not taking medications. Yeah. Um, in, in the same case? Yeah, same case, no change. Yeah, because when you, uh, when, when you have hypertension, you need to have some medications, and you think you are so strong and you don't need to do that, I will give you some information about complications of hypertension to pursue to persuade you to have the right medication. Yeah. Um, you know, as um, everybody just say, hypertension, you know, for you to see it directly because it's a silent killer and with it not come abruptly, it come uh, regularly and it don't let you to see that. But in, 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 some, in some day, you will have get some communications with your audience, um, such as with the brain. Yeah, the first with the brain, you will have to have the shock. It's made by the hypertension, make your vessel is uh, weak and is narrow. It can make you good, have a shock and you will uh, be uh, unconscious. Yeah, after you will up to the hospital, you can die at home, you can die at hospital, and if you can cover it from this accident, uh, it's, it, um, sometimes it gets normal, but sometimes it's not like that. You can have to have the paralysis. You can uh, have uh, bow your body to the bed. You can move to anybody. Uh, you can go to anywhere you like. You can go outside with not um, the half, yeah. And it um, will will make your fly is so uh, so badly. Uh, the the next the next one I want to uh, tell you that with your heart, your heart will get weaker and weaker with the hypertension. It cannot supply enough blood or oxygen to your body to work uh, normally. Yeah, and uh, in at the end at, at the end stage. You feel hard to breathe, uh, to breathe, and you just um, lie at the, your bed. You can move up. You can do anything because with every little move, it can make you feel tired. Yeah, and um, with the kidney, uh, it makes your kidney will be a uh, uh, failure. Uh, you, you you need to go to um, you, you get swelling one day and uh, in some day you have to go to hospital nearly every day to uh, to um, need a mach a machine to uh, have clean your blood yeah and it costs cost so much money and uh, another one is about your eyes um. In some day you can't see anything because hypertension damaged your vision. Yeah, um, maybe now you you can be uh, you can feel your your health is very strong, but um, that is um, complication. It it has to uh, come to you someday. So I need to protect your health now and uh, to uh, I want you to. Um, Follow the medications because uh, uh, nowadays the medications are not so expensive, and uh, it I have some some ways to help you to follow the medications. Uh, and uh, in in some case, I don't think it's the uh, complicated to help you to follow. Up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not bad, actually. <laughs> not not bad. So good. Um, um, I think communication good. They're convincing. Um, but I probably somehow, if you talk a, a so long sentence and keep talking, and sometimes I 
probably forget what you say. You know, if you now, what, what, what I would like to do is say it's simpler thing. Um, first of all, I need to know why you don't want to take medication. I need to try the way how to help you. But I would like you to is this number of things blood pressure, hypertension can cause. Number one can cause eye problem. Number two is heart problem. Number three is blood pressure problem. And all the kidney and multiple organs. So I can go through one by one so you can remember easy. Number one with the eye. Number two, I'll go with the heart. Number three, kidney. So give us something break down into the point form and slow and pose that so the patient can digest it take it in rather than go from one ear to go straight to the other ear. So number one, eye. Okay, now I'm going to number two is the heart. Number three, I'm going to blood vessel. Number three and four is the kidney disease. And something like that, you break down slowly and you go through and patient get information easy. That, that, that's called the art of communication. Very, very good. You're convincing your talk in a way, you know, you're not posing, not, you know, try to think, a patient think you're a bit more, more the doctor than just, you know, just, you know, I don't think. Yeah, because I feel very nervous every time I see all of you. And uh, all beside that, we have... <laughs> see you and... See you, see you and... Uh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> thank you for your feedback, and I will try to do better in the next time. Yeah, yeah, that's a, what we, we want you to implicate better. We're not going to terrorize you, not try to you know, <laughs> not make you feel bad. But it's a way because we have so much short time and distant learning is so hard. So we try to make our, you know, something to push you on to get your performance, see what, how, what the level of performance you, you guys handle. Okay, some still feel, you know, not under pressure, but you know, they're doing good. So I we've got another few minutes, isn't it? I mean, are we going to wrap up, or are you want to keep going? Yeah, I guess it's wrap up right now. And, and for, uh, any final feedback from the team from from the class? Um, I think that um, yeah, you may you may go home just like full post over here. Go home at least do the presentations again, try to, to do the uh, counseling again, um, review the instructions, review the feedback, and uh, make your own counseling. Um, um, I know that sometimes you don't have time, so two, three minutes, sometimes you, it's a bit too much for you, uh, so that's why you need to practice, get enough information together so that you can give the Ooh, what's up? <laughs> uh, give a, a, a confident my, my daughter, my daughter. <laughs> give a confident convincing uh, counseling for the patient so it's just come out naturally uh, for you and like I post in in the in the uh, Facebook uh, build up your 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 counseling um, one two minutes build up your your library of counseling. Uh, information so that uh, when you need to, you just pull out from your your uh, library and give to the patient that uh, more efficient. All right, and for and then any feedback before we finish here? Yeah. I think that today is uh, is uh, good. Uh, it's improvement. Okay, to the last one, Ji uh, Ting, he learned from the mistake from the other one, so. <laughs> a pretty job. Okay, so that's why I eh? ask you to listen to everybody. Yeah? That's, that's the way we improve uh, the, uh, the work. Um, yeah, and I don't know whether uh, Dr. Fu can uh, delay buying uh, Dr. Fu Trong, Trong Fu. Uh, delay buying his new iPhone to invest into the class, um, the new better um, conference microphone so that you can place on the table and don't have to move around. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Bớt nhậu. There's something I want to say because at the very first moment, I'm thinking of that kind of microphone and I show that to the people 
who are in charge of this uh, room facilities, but um, they tend to use another system. And mm -hmm. we have some microphone back, back in this room, but we cannot use that. In the first uh, class, we have been trying to use the microphones, but um, I remember that we uh, we hear a lot of bad sounds, so that's why we to use the, the the microphone from the laptop or from the the webcam. So uh, yeah, I think if we have uh, one microphone that uh, able to record on the voice from all the people in class without moving. It is much better, and we can change the way we study every day, every class. But we need time. We need to to configure it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna send you one by next week. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you have any, if you have any good microphone that is suitable for our class, you can um, suggest us uh, suggest it, and I can show it to. The people in charge of the facilities. I think that yeah. Min has sent you the link. Uh, you know the. I think Min will send the link up from Amazon. Uh -huh. it, yeah. It's not, yeah, we use a lot here. Just, I think. Uh, but yeah, we have only a few more weeks. Yeah, <laughs> we can hurry up. It'll be good. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, yes. And um, that's okay. it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so. So thank you, class. With, with, okay, with, with next next topic, I'm gonna to send you the list of the uh, the pronunciation. So you gotta have to do it and post the you know audio clip early so I can I can correct help you guys correct. Sometimes it sound like it seems so difficult or harsh, but um, it's in my heart I want you guys to do better. I'm not gonna mean yes. to pick on anyone. Okay, so just try to do your best. And I promise I will mark, I will listen, and I will, I will provide feedback, and hopefully you can learn from those. And the next uh, week will be a little bit challenging because we, I think we have to think about the format because the different level of the, you know, the um, in your class, year four, year five, and the doctor yourselves, it might be difficult how I can make, you know, how you do the case. Give me some time to think. But uh, today I will post the list of the uh, the, the question, a uh, list of the 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 the, you know, the the medical term. Make sure the team will do all this as quick possible, and I will do the post the case, and you can practice early, if if possible. You can do audio and post it back to me, so I can see I can correct you before the next you know next uh, the next Sunday lecture to help you a bit more than we do provide feedback. Uh, too much feedback during the, the during the um, the three hour lesson. So again, summary: I always post the the list of you know the the, the medical term. Please do it. That's not hard, and I will provide feedback. And secondly, I will post the the question. I'm going to do the case for next week. And if you guys can practice, or if you can do audio recording and post it back to me to see whether I can see what you do on the right track or not, and they'll provide feedback. So by next Sunday, we use, we use the same case and you can practice it better with, you know, with less you know, time consuming and feedback between cases. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think that's all for today. Uh, any question before we finish? From class? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. So, if there's no other question, then uh, yeah, take rest, practice, uh, and prepare for next week. It's gonna be more stressful than this week, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye class. <laughs> I love the noise out. <laughs>